DCS Additional Viewports is an optional new interface in Helios 1.6. Here we are again in the Profile Editor uh, with the A10 profile we used in the previous video about combined monitor setups. Um, you may remember there are these viewport rectangles that uh, we use to line up the uh, exported viewports from DCS with uh, surrounding graphics. Um, here's an, one of the viewports and uh, you'll see it has a name that has been made unique to the aircraft by calling it A10C left MFCD instead of just left MFCD and that's you know how it doesn't collide um, we discussed that in the previous video so unfortunately obviously when you uh, get a, a, the DCS A10C as shipped does not include an A10C left MFCD viewport it only has a left MFCD viewport which of course collides with every other aircraft's left MFCD so to work around that, people install viewport mods, um, which rename the viewport to something unique, and which also created other viewports that aren't even there by default, such as on you know, um, like on the the F eighteen RWR or or something like that, right? Which is not normally exported, but uh, the UFC, uh, which is not normally exported, but you know, if you install a mod, you can get the Lua to do so. So um, in the past we had a lot of problems with with in installations when people would install the profile but the mods would go in the wrong place or the mods weren't installed and then you know you start it up and you get a blank a blank viewport and you have no idea why. So in order for DCS sorry in order for Helios to be able to to, to check all that configuration and also uh, be able to um, do the pre-flight check for it we need to you know tell Helios about some of this stuff so one of the things you have to do is in the viewports that are in the profile which would usually already be done for you if you're just downloading a profile it will say you know requires patches and what that checkbox means is that um, in the monitor setup when it uh, checks all the viewports it will make sure that there actually is something installed that will that will provide viewports by this name uh, and sort of do an integrity check um, and that is true because we've configured it to actually um, for Helios to provide those uh, viewport name changes by the DCS additional viewports interface if we instead configure that we're going to use a third-party solution, let's say you have viewport mods that you're happy with through Mod Manager or something, um, then that's fine. You'll just be on your own um, in the sense that D that Helios won't be able to check them, right? Uh, but that's fine too, right? You just have to make sure that the names are going to match these, you know, A10C, left MFCD, and so on, because otherwise the monitor setup obviously won't work with those viewports and you'd be right back where we were in 1.4 and you know have a blank viewport screen. So, um, okay, so what Helios actually will do for you is it will mod all of the viewports. It won't install other mods. I mean, it's not a mod manager and it's not trying to be a mod manager. It's just limiting its modding to just changing the viewport names, creating new viewports, and doing like such as on the F18, doing some basic readability changes, like better you know font widths and line sizes and whatever fuzziness, so that you can actually read the viewports, uh, stuff that every single user of the profiles is is going to need. Um, so what what do you do? Um, well, um, very little. Uh, basically DCS knows about, uh, sorry, Helios knows about a number of aircraft and we keep uh, building, you know, the library of aircraft patches that we have. And uh, so, for example, for my installation here, the aircraft that I have installed that it knows how to do viewports for are this Ka-50, the F-18, the F-14, the F-16, the A-10, and the Harrier. And uh, so those are the ones that it wants to patch. And what it means by patching is that it is going to change just the lines of the files that are required in order to do the viewports. So any other mods that you might have, it's going to leave those alone. It's um, it's it's based on uh, Google diff match, match patch specifically, just a you know a kind of a, a, a differencing 
file that says, okay, you know, find the lines that look like this and change them to look like this. And the idea behind that is that these are not replaced files, so they will not blow away any changes that, you know, that you are getting from a DCS update. It's just going to make the same small modifications again against the new file, as long as the new file is reasonably similar to the old file. Um, when the point comes where the file is no longer similar enough to work, then, you know, we issue a new set of patches that you are used from, you know, DCS version XYZ forward. Um, and so that that's going to be handled by Helios. Um, okay, so how do we deal with it? Right now, the status would be red because let's say I downloaded this profile and I did the monitor setup, but I didn't configure this yet. So obviously I don't have patches. So you would go to the, you know, uh, additional viewports interface, hit install patches, uh, and now everything's patched. If you look at the details, it'll tell you these are all the files, and I just check them again. So it's basically kind of checking that continuously. Um, I mean, every time you make a change. So it just says, you know, everything's cool, uh, except there's one recommendation. Don't also make those same changes with your mod manager. So if you have a mod manager, and you're going to use DCS to do this part for you, then take your viewport mods out of the mod manager, obviously. You can keep your other mods, but you know, don't have both of them do it because this is probably gonna screw up everything. Similarly, if you don't like DCS's way, of, I'm sorry, if you don't like Helios's way, I keep saying DCS, if you keep if you don't like Helios's way of doing this, if you prefer your mod manager and you know you, you, that's what you want to do, that's fine too. What you would do is you would go to the monitor setup and say, you know, I'm going to do it myself, right? Uh, and then it's just going to say uh, a few things. It says remove the interface because you shouldn't have both, right? So it says, okay, well, we're going to get rid of additional viewports then because we don't want that functionality anymore. Great, so that's gone. So now your status is just verify that your third-party viewport modifications match the viewport names for this profile, which is just the same thing I said earlier. Well, you've got to go make sure that you actually have an A10C left MFCD or the monitor setup isn't going to work, right? But, you know, there will be some people who prefer to use their existing mod manager and that's fine. And maybe some new users um, of these profiles will just like the fact that they can click a button and it just works and they don't have to learn about mod managers if that's the only thing that they need to mod for, right? Um, I'm in that second set. I don't I don't like mod managers personally, so I don't use them. But, you know, some people do, and that's great too, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, finally, I want to mention um, uh, we're going to collaborate with uh, Jabbers on the uh, DCS Alternative Launcher project. We already are collaborating, so perhaps in the future there'll be yet another way to create your viewport uh, configurations, and we're going to collaborate in the community and make sure that those names are all the same, right? So we have like a common database, and so it'll always always going to be going to be exactly a 10 c left MFCD, not some other string. So it just randomly stops working again. Okay, so that's a maybe a little bit of a longer video, but um, that's what um, additional viewports is all about. Now, if you uh, if you back back them out, I need to reload this because I deleted the interface. Um, but if you uh, you know you can if you already install the patches or if they're partially installed, you hit revert patches, which will enable install patches again. But it'll put all the files back. If it has any trouble doing the opposite of its changes, so like I said, it only changes a few lines. But if it for some reason can't like if the file has been modified by somebody else or or something bad happened and it can't put the file back uh by doing the changes backwards what it will do is it'll just revert the file to um a backup copy that it leaves in dcs so this is my dcs installation and this is a file i actually patched um so you know this one has like a, an iffy viewport export and it left this file for me which is just meaning this is the version of that file for version 2.5.6.49798 of DCS. So it will restore that file 
if that's still the current DCS version, sort of as a second to last resort, um, you know, trying to get you back to the original file instead of something. And then if that doesn't work, then you would have to uh, use the DCS updater and do a repair and just tell it to blow away uh, the user mods because our mods are not in the, you know are not saved in those files right they're just patches that that are part of Helios so you can you can do the update repair anytime you want and then you know the next time you run profile editor it'll just patch them again um, so that that will be sort of our at present our, our last resort but hopefully you won't need it